What's up y'all, I wanna welcome y'all back to AD Cooks. And on the menu today is a smothered chicken recipe. Easy, simple y'all. Appreciate you for tuning in, like, share, and subscribe. Guys, what we have in front of us is a pot full of vegetable oil with some uh, flour, seasoned chicken, and I am not going to take you through the through the process of uh, me seasoning my chicken because I've done plenty of fried chicken videos. So what I will do is leave a link down in the description for my basic fried chicken, and this is the recipe that I leave down in the in the description will work for this recipe you all. So what we're gonna do is let our chicken brown. Uh, when chicken starts floating to the top, that means it's done. All right guys, our chicken should be nice, nicely browned, cooked, because the chicken is floating to the top. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Also guys, you all have probably seen me do this before, but for new people, I did flip my wing tip behind this portion of the chicken. You don't have to do that. I do it. Sometimes they fall apart like this one did. No biggie though. We tried. So what we're going to do is go in and finish adding our pieces of chicken in, into uh, this uh, vegetable oil. And then we're going to start the smothering portion of it, but you gotta fry your chicken first. Okay, chicken has been fried, as you can see in the background. Um, what, at that point, once you finish frying your chicken, you kinda wanna dump all of your grease out, and you wanna keep these drippings and a little grease at the bottom. That's flavor, y'all. I know it may look like grit and grind, but it's actually flavor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with us about a half an onion. And what we want to do is kind of just <clears throat> for about maybe two minutes, kind of just soften our onions up a little bit. And that's all we're looking for. So for about two minutes, we're going to let our onions saute in this uh, uh, leftover grease that's at the bottom of our uh, frying pan. Okay, after that two minutes, we're going to go in with a little bit of uh, minced garlic maybe about a half a tablespoon of minced garlic. We're gonna let our onions and our garlic cook a little bit more. We don't wanna cook the garlic too much because we don't want it to burn. This is what things are looking like right now. Once we've let our garlic go for about a minute. Also, guys, off camera, that uh, chicken grease that we used, I did go back in and add a little more grease to it. And the reason why is because I needed to, to uh, brown my flour. We're gonna go in with about two tablespoons or maybe a tablespoon and a half of flour. You don't have to use a lot of flour and smothered chicken because you're getting flour from your fried chicken.
And what we want to do is continue to stir this flour, onions, and garlic. So it doesn't burn. And the longer that you cook this, the darker your gravy is going to get or our smothered. This is why we call it smothered chicken. Our gravy is going to get darker. So it's depending on what you want to do. But we're cooking the flour in this grease so we can cook that floury taste out of it. I don't know if that's the word, floury. <laughs> but that's why we're doing this. And we're trying to get our gravy to brown to our liking. So that's up to you. Once we have our flour and our onions browned enough, we're gonna go in with us a little bit of hot or faucet hot water. Gonna go in with a little bit of black pepper. Little bit of garlic powder, not much. We already got garlic in this. Onion powder. parsley flakes and we're gonna go in with a little bit of seasoning salt because our chicken is seasoned as well so we don't want to over season you can always go back in and salt but you can't take away salt so just a little you all with a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And this is optional. I love crushed red peppers. I'm gonna throw in a few of those. And what we wanna do is bring this back to a boil. Once we're back to a ball, we'll go ahead and add our chicken in. And this is the smothering portion of the video. Okay, once we have our uh, roux, this is actually what you call it, a roux. Once we have our roux brought back to a ball, we're gonna go ahead and take our pieces of chicken that we fried and add them in. And I'm not cooking all of, the, I'm not smothering all of these pieces of chicken, you all. I'm only doing a few pieces because the meal that we're eating today, I want a few pieces of fried chicken with it, so I'm not doing them all. Let's put one more in, y'all, and I think we should be good. At this point, what we wanna do cover and let things smother all right guys our chicken has been on for about maybe 10 minutes just gonna go ahead and uh, take a peek and your gravy should start thickening nice gravy you all and also at this point you want to start tasting things to see if you need to add more salt to your uh, smothered chicken. I'm gonna do that off camera. I didn't do it beforehand, <clears throat> but we're gonna continue to let things cook 
salt if needed, add more garlic powder, onion powder if needed. I also sometimes like putting hot sauce, a little bit, dab of hot sauce into my uh, smothered chicken. Do what you do, but keep it basic and don't over salt it. So we're gonna continue to let things smother down because I kind of want my gravy to get a little more thicker and I want my chicken to get a little more tender because when it's cooking in this gravy, it's really gonna uh, tenderize your chicken. So we'll probably let things cook for maybe about another 10 minutes. Smothered chicken has been on for another 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, maneuver things around a little bit. Check on the thickness of our gravy. Perfect, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and turn this off and plate. All right, guys, smothered chicken is done. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of bowl it. It's not necessarily plating, because I'm actually bowling it, but we're gonna take this goodness Right into there, y'all. Oops. We're gonna top it with a uh, little bit of parsley flakes, just for presentation purposes. And there we have it, y'all. Smothered chicken comfort food at its best not difficult easy simple meal y'all appreciate you for tuning in like share and subscribe and peace